Monica, so much to catch up on. Yes, it's been a minute. It has been a minute, and there's been a lot of serious stuff that's transpired. Uh, obviously, we got season two coming, but the COVID of it all, um, there's a very public, devastating scandal uh, with Jerry. Faced a lot of uh, difficulty and challenges since we first started doing this. Uh, season two featured your rival school. So what was it like to, season one so different, continue on this journey facing real life issues? Well, you know, life happens. You don't get a chance to pause it and, uh, you know, fix your emotions or anything. And we have cameras there uh, filming it all. So you just, you know, like I said in the show, just really honestly, I was just putting one foot in front of the other, trying to get through it and, uh, you know, be there for the team and get ready for competition, but also uh, dealing with some very tough things. And to not be distracted by the things that are going on that are serious things, that are challenging things. How do you do that? Like, what's your key to that? Because I think we all deal with things that take us off our, our focus. How about for you? What do you do? Well, you know, when we're in competition season, it's um, easy to direct our focus to our task at hand. So I really used that as my motivation every day to, um, you know, keep the distractions outside and, and to be mentally strong for the team. Uh, you know, we were going through a lot, uh, you know, with the things that were happening, but also just being a competitive sport during COVID is really tough, not just for us, but I think every program in America and probably, you know, the world, because we had so many restrictions and we were in and out of quarantine. And when you're in quarantine, it's not just missing practice. It actually is mentally tough because you know, when the athletes were in quarantine, they were not allowed to leave. So we were having to right. bring them meals and, and stuff. So it was just really one thing after another, really, uh, you know, just trying to find the mental strength to, to get through it all. But they look up to you, right? You have to be that leader and you yeah. have to, even when you're probably not feeling like you can be the toughest, you have to be and show them and set by example. Yeah, I mean, basically, I woke up every morning and gave myself a good mat talk because I needed it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just knew how important it was for me to keep my mental health strong so that I could be that rock for the others. And uh, it was tough. It was very tough. And I definitely leaned in on my, you know, own personal positive self-talk and whatever else, you know, I leaned in on my faith a lot just to have someone that I could lean on, you know? Monica Adalma with us right now from Cheer. Sissini is obsessed with the show. <laughs> I, I really am. I cheered my whole life all through high school. I wish I would have done it in college, but I didn't. Um, so in season two, you see like the first part of 20, the 2020 team that doesn't get to go to compete in nationals. Like, so what was that feeling like for them? Were you the one that told them like, it's definitely not happening or how did they find out? Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, it happened so quickly because we had, we were in what we call hell week, which is our spring break. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of media just saying things after the show came out, you know, oh, they're so focused on, you know, they're going out of town and they're doing the Ellen show and they're doing this, they're not going to be focused. And so mm -hmm. honestly, it really made us work twice as hard. And so we were so prepared. We had done 25 full outs. We looked really, really good. Uh, and they get the last few days off. So Wednesday was our last practice on that next day is when the NBA like canceled their season. And so everything spiraled out of control really fast. And by that Sunday, I got a phone call that um, our our season was canceled. And so, you know, a lot of them had gone different places for those last few days to rest. And so um, we I put it in our group chat, you know, that because they were about to see it on uh, announced on social media. So mm. we put in our group chat and, you know, everyone was devastated. We met the next day. Our school went online, so we were no longer in school physically, but we met the next day and turned in our uniforms. And it was a very, very sad day. It was a lot yeah. of tears. I mean, you were weeks sure. away. Like that had to have been yeah. heartbreaking. I can't imagine. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. And, you know, just the unknown of a pandemic. Everything was just very devastating and scary at that time well you can check out season two streaming on netflix and you can go see cheer live on sale today at 10 a.m where you'll see everybody in action after their hard work 
Monica Delman, thank you so much for coming on. Great to see you, and good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye.